Now that you saw the two main systems, now we're gonna look at the subsystems that are particular to this particular car. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next system part of our visual inspection. This vehicle, according to the under the hood label, is equipped with two catalytic converters. One of them is located here at the front of the vehicle, and the second one would be located underneath about midway between the engine and the bulkhead. Our job as a technician is to first identify the converters to make sure that they're there, Second, if the converter does appear to be an aftermarket, meaning it's been replaced, then you would have to find what's called an EO number, look that up in the state system to make sure that that number is applicable to the catalytic converter installed on the car and it's allowed to be sold and installed here in California. If it meets all those uh, requirements, then obviously you know the catalytic converters are good and you would hit pass on the smog machine. The next system that you would also be taking a look at would be the oxygen sensor. In some vehicles, like our 2006 Nissan Sentra, the front oxygen sensor is usually called an AFS or AFR, which is an air fuel ratio sensor. That would look something like this. So this is one that we use for our students as a demonstration, as a prop, as that's why you can tell that some wires are actually missing. But when you're looking at a car, you're looking for the oxygen sensor or the air fuel ratio sensor, and they look roughly identical. This would be screwed into the exhaust. And if we take a look, we can actually see that we have one located here. And if we follow it up, here's our electrical connection. We want to make sure that the oxygen sensor is properly installed and also make sure that they're in the right location. Also, another thing you want to pay attention to is some people can't afford to get a catalytic converter replaced. So they use a thing called an oxygen sensor spacer. What it's going to do is you're going to notice that there's going to be another nut similar to this located about here. That spacer is gonna lift the oxygen sensor out of the exhaust, freaking the computer into thinking that the catalytic converter is fully operational. So as a technician, always make sure that you guys are visually checking for your oxygen sensors and making sure that there's no spacer installed to circumvent the system. Now let's go ahead and take a look at another part of the emission system.